Hey y'all, cruising with some Sade in the background. This is classic. Class I think it's late 80s or something. And Sade has not aged a, a day, although that's completely irrelevant. Thought I'd talk a little bit about harmony today. Um, because I'm doing what any normal person does when they listen to the radio, and I'm analyzing harmony that I'm listening to. And uh, Smooth Operator has got this uh, nice minor key going with a little bit of uh, a little bit of chromaticism thrown in there. But we got a minor four chord, a minor five chord, and then the little break, the bum bum bum, the minor one chord, the minor five. Minor five, there's just three chords and one was repeated. One, five, four, five, all minor. One flat three, five, five flat seven, nine, four flat six, eight, five flat seven, nine. And then, oh shoot, what we got? Oh shoot, we got a little bit of a solo. The same kind of chord progression, except they skip the five chord. Now, why does this matter to a musician or somebody who wants to make music? Well, you imagine the guitarist for Sade sitting in the studio and going, Hey, Sade, you know, can you tell me what to play? Can you imagine him like, Sade, what do I play here? Can you tell me how to play my instrument? No, what the, what, the way it likely worked was the guitarist said, Hey, give me the, give me the chord progression. I'm gonna come up with something amazing. And then they played this sick little 80s, super like heavy effect laden guitar solo over it because they knew what notes would work with what chords and what key they were in. So therefore they had a good sense of not only what notes were appropriate throughout the song, but even more specifically, what notes were appropriate, uh, appropriate over which chord. So you not only have a sense of what notes work within the song, but what notes would within a specific moment work with the song best. And, and theory can help you solo. Theory can help you solo. Theory can't write your solo. Theory won't make your solo awesome, but theory can make sure that your solo at least goes with the song. And so it can help you describe musical ideas like, hey, these notes belong here, these notes do not. What's our fancy word for that? That's a scale. And we got uh, lots of great words like that in music theory, especially when it pertains to harmony. If you're interested in harmony, check the, check the harmony module. It's going to drop soon. But, you know, um, until then, keep analyzing. <laughs> keep analyzing harmony the way any normal person does when they listen to the radio. Peace out. What's this one? I feel like it's so relaxing, just like the lady said earlier, 10 minutes earlier, the lady said 10, 10 most relaxing songs ever.